back to our channel. I'm Jenny, and today we're making a um, garlic honey shrimp, honey garlic shrimp, honey garlic shrimp. And we're starting out, I'm doubling the sauce recipe because I'm adding vegetables to it. So I'm putting in, we're gonna brown some butter here first. So I'm putting that in the pan first. And that has to brown and heat up. And then we're gonna add the other stuff. And then we're gonna add shrimp, put it all together. And we're gonna make some rice for ours. I, as a bariatric patient, I'm not gonna eat the rice, but my family likes it. So we're gonna put it over rice. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, so we're kinda of not quite burning the butter, but browning it. So it's kind of a, a golden brown and it says to have it get like a, a almost a nutty smell to it. Usually we don't let this happen with butter, but in this recipe you do. So once it's gotten to this point, then we add soy sauce. Honey. And a good trick for honey in, in these measuring cups is to spray the cup first so the honey doesn't stick in the cup, even though it still sticks a little bit, but not as bad as it would have. And garlic. Woo! And again, my husband cut up the garlic. Shout out for Mark. And some lemon juice. Sorry. And it says just to let this mix it all together and just let it cook for about 30 seconds or until the garlic is fragrant. So we're just gonna let this cook. It kinda cooled everything off, so now it's gotta warm back up to cook a little bit more. And we'll let that cook for a little bit and we'll be back again. Mark has the rice started over here in our new pot. <laughs> okay. Okay, we poured out half of the liquid part of this into a bowl, we're reserving that for later. Now I'm putting the shrimp in. It says to do half of the shrimp at a time, but we have a pretty big pan, so I think it's gonna be okay with all of it at a time. Um, the garlic is still in here, and so is some of the sauce. So then it, you just cook this, you don't wanna cook shrimp too long. Otherwise it gets rubbery. We live in the middle of nowhere. So we, in Iowa, it's a landlocked state. So we have to buy our shrimp frozen. It's almost thawed all the way, <laughs> but it will thaw the rest of the way in here. So we'll let this heat back up and let this cook until it's just opaque, it says. Okay, so our shrimp is looking pretty good. It's when they turn not opaque is when you're supposed to do it. So we're, we're moving them part of, we're moving them, the ones that are not opaque anymore over to a plate. And I'm gonna take all of these out and then I'm gonna add vegetables. It, now it calls for just adding the shrimp back in and stirring it all up and then you serve it either over vegetables or over rice or whatever you want. I'm gonna add vegetables into this. That's why I made extra sauce. So we'll show you that in a second. Okay, I'm adding the rest of the juice back in here. And then I'm gonna add the vegetables that we're putting in. We're putting in sugar snap peas and some carrots. You could add in anything that you want. So I want them to get a little bit of this flavor on them too. And then I'll add the shrimp back in. I'm keeping this heat pretty high the whole time. These will probably take longer than the shrimp did. <laughs> okay, now I'm putting the shrimp back in it. The carrots and snow peas got cooked. So I'm just gonna basically put this back in and warm them. Warm everything through, toss everything through, and it'll be done. And we'll show you a plate of it. I'll show you my plate and Mark's plate. How's that? Mm -hmm. 
So this is Mark's plate. And this is Mark. Skinny as a rail. This is Ginny's plate. And you already know what I look like. And he'll have two of these. <laughs>